Hello. Today I wanted to say a few words about an older drug that's been getting some um, new buzz recently, something called um, naltrexone. Um, the newer buzz is actually about using naltrexone in, in a microdose, something that we call low-dose naltrexone. Um, naltrexone is an older pharmaceutical drug. It was developed um, decades ago uh, really to treat drug addiction um, and, and alcoholism. It works by binding to what are called opiate receptors and, and blocking them. Um, in, in 1985 or 1986, um, naltrexone was studied um, off-label not at its conventional doses, which were quite high, 50 to 300 or 400 milligrams a day, but um, in a microdose, uh, typically four and a half milligrams a day for treating all sorts of things that didn't have anything to do with um, drug addiction or alcoholism. It's very interesting. Um, at a microdose, uh, naltrexone works very differently than it does at its conventional doses. Um, at the risk of uh, geeking out too much on everyone, when naltrexone is administered in these tiny doses, what it does is temporarily block opiate receptors in the brain, which in turn upregulates the amount of the endogenous morphine or endorphins that are produced by the body, as well as the number of receptors that those um, that those endorphins or endogenous morphine molecules bind to and it increases their sensitivity. So it works on this um, bounce back phenomenon when it's used in you know, low dose or, or a micro dose. Um, endorphins are um, important in regulating cell growth um, in, um, and in modulating the immune system. So, so very interestingly, in a microdose, low-dose naltrexone has been studied and used quite successfully, actually, um, for treating a whole multitude of things. Uh, um, we have had the most success in using it for treating chronic pain issues, um, autoimmune disease like um, Hashimoto's or Graves' disease, inflammatory bowel disease, um, an autoimmune disease that affects the neurologic system ca called uh, multiple sclerosis or MS. Um, it is also used to help treat mood disorders, uh, again, by upregulating the amount of endogenous morphine or endorphins that are produced. So for depression, uh, anxiety, bipolar disorder, um, fatigue syndromes, uh, fibromyalgia, um, there, there really are very few, if if any side effects associated with naltrexone when it's used in a low dose. Um, some people will report um, some transient disruption in their sleep um, or very mild um, gastrointestinal side effects. We've, we've not had any patients um, need to stop taking low dose naltrexone because of those side effects, um, but um, those exist. Uh, there really aren't any drug interactions with other medications that people are taking, so this is a medication that can be used with conventional therapy or as, as a standalone. Um, sometimes we get questions about, well, um, if it blocks uh, opiate activity, then what if um, I suffer from migraine headaches and I get a headache and need to take um, a, a Vicodin uh, type of medication? Uh, will it still work? Yes, it will. Um, <clears throat> we don't intentionally give low-dose naltrexone to patients who are on um, long-acting forms of opiates, um, like uh, OxyContin or long-acting morphine, um, intentionally because it could, um, in theory, precipitate some withdrawal symptoms. Uh, but it's at such a small dose, it's only blocking um, a very small number of cells at a time. So there, there really isn't any appreciable blockade if you were going to take a medication like Vicodin on top of it. Um, so it's extremely uh, utilitarian um, and, and well tolerated. Uh, naltrexone is now generic. Um, it can be purchased at its conventional doses from a regular pharmacy, which are typically 50 milligram increments. But like I mentioned earlier, the doses that are studied for treating autoimmunity, um, pain and fatigue syndromes 
are much, much lower than that. Um, typically somewhere between one and four and a half milligrams a day. So those are doses that need to be compounded by a specialty compounding pharmacist. Um, the medication needs to be used in an immediate release formulation and not a long release formulation because we really want that bounce back phenomenon and we don't get that if we're using an extended release form of the medication. Um, here in Green Bay, Wisconsin, we have um, Custom Health Pharmacy. Uh, John Sawinski is an expert uh, compounding pharmacist and has been compounding low-dose naltrexone for, uh, for decades. You really want to have somebody who knows what they're doing make that, um, that particular dose for you. Uh, I know on the internet there are people who are trying to cut that medication and formulate the dose uh, themselves to save money. It's actually not very expensive um, to have done professionally. Um, it's much safer to do it that way, and the um, the data that we have are really utilizing those very specific microdoses of naltrexone. Um, if you folks have other specific questions about using low dose naltrexone, about its uh, potential interactions or side effects, um, or other uses, uh, you can feel free as always to message me below uh, or personally. Uh, I hope that uh, you found this video helpful in educating yourselves or someone you know on, um, on the use of an old medication uh, in a microdose for um, a whole host of conditions. Um, it's been a really great addition for a lot of our patients. Um, you all have a great day. Thanks again for watching.